And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With highs only in the 40s, it was another chilly day across northeast Wisconsin, and there is no end in sight to this stretch of cool weather. Take a look at the next seven days. We're going to be looking at highs running well below normal for this time of year. We should be in the mid-50s, and for the most part, once you get past tomorrow and Friday, highs will only be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Right now, temperatures across northeast Wisconsin range from the mid-30s in Anago, where there was five inches of snow last night, to the lower 50s in Sheboygan County. Everybody else is still in the lower to mid-40s, including Appleton, where it's cloudy and 41. In Green Bay, with overcast skies, the temperature is 43 degrees. So overall, quiet weather across the area today. We had a little bit of sunshine mixing with those clouds and some gusty winds. Quiet weather ahead of our next weather maker, which is an area of low pressure now developing across northern Colorado. This system is going to pull out of the Rockies and strengthen as it moves east-northeast. On the northern side of it, there's going to be heavy snow here from North and South Dakota into Minnesota. Winter storm warnings have been issued, but that's gonna be way off to our North and West. This system is gonna be bringing in some warmer weather to the state, and that means a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. Right now, it looks like the best chance for severe weather is gonna be way off to our South and West, but thunderstorms are a definite likelihood as we head through tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Skycast shows quiet weather throughout the night. Few scattered showers tomorrow morning, but as the system gets closer, we will see showers and thunderstorms develop as we move into the afternoon, and then we will see on and off showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, and the rain could be locally heavy. The computer forecast models are suggesting a widespread one to two inches of rain across northeast Wisconsin with locally higher amounts possible if we get some training thunderstorms or thunderstorms that move over the same spot over and over again. Some spots could see an excess of three inches of rain, and that could lead to some urban flooding and also some ponding of water on roads. Now, along with the thunderstorms, we're also going to see very gusty northeast winds develop, especially by tomorrow evening, out of the north and east at around 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts. That could lead to some lakeshore flooding. Flooding is possible on the shoreline of Lake Michigan and also Green Bay. Be alert for rising water and possible shoreline erosion. Temperature-wise, we're going to be in the 40s. Once again, about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. For the last couple of days, it looked like we would have a small window of opportunity tomorrow evening to get up into the 50s and 60s. But it looks like that warm front is now going to stall out just to the south and east of Lake Winnebago. While we'll be in the 40s, temperatures will be in the 60s to around 70 from about Sheboygan South. So tonight, cloudy skies, overnight lows in the upper 30s to around 40. Tomorrow, we'll see clouds and a few showers early, then numerous showers and thunderstorms as we make our way through the afternoon and evening. High temperatures will be in the 40s. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 46. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to We All Rise. And we did that today. I forecast 47. The actual high temperature was 44 degrees. On Friday, maybe some showers lingering early, then mostly cloudy in 46. Sun and clouds on Saturday, but chilly 43. Chance for some rain or snow as we head into Sunday and Monday. After that, staying cold for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Highs only in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Nina?